Back the chair now recognizes a gentleman from Ohio, Representative Balderson, for five minutes of questioning. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Administrator, thank you for being here today. Um, Administrator, uh, the EPA has claimed it addressed the reliability concerns posed by its recently finalized Section 111 power plant rule, the so-called Clean Power Plan 2.0. By including minor tweaks, such as allowing a one-year compliance deadline extension subject to EPA's approval. But utilities need to start making resource decisions today and can't bank on the so-called flexibilities. And if a plant is shut down because of this rule, it can't just be turned back on in an emergency situation. The fact is, the power plant rule will threaten grid reliability. Just last week, the largest grid operator in the nation, PJM Interconnection, which covers the state of Ohio, and the Ohio's 12th Congressional District made it clear this rule threatens reliability. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to enter to the record the PJM's May 8th statement on the newly issued greenhouse gas regulations, please. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Administrator, do you believe that you and the EPA are better experts on what is needed to maintain grid reliability than the actual grid operators? Well, I think we've made our <clears throat> decisions with consultation from the grid operators, FERC, and others who specialize in grid reliability, along with our own experts. Is it in your opinion that PJM is wrong in their assessment of this rule will threaten the grid reliability? I'd love to read that report and have my staff analyze the threats that they perceive to be there. We consulted with PJM, so we'd love to continue to engage with okay. PJM. If you could let us know what your thoughts are after you uh, and your staff read that. Um, in the light of these serious concerns from PJM, will you commit to asking the North American Electric Reliability Corporation and the RTOs, the ISOs, for an independent review of the reliability impacts of this regulation and the others EPA recently finalized on fossil fuel fired units? We look forward to a lot of engagement with multiple industries and entities that are responsible for the grid and delivering power. So those conversations will continue to go. Thank you. In the state of Ohio, new data centers, I'm sure you're hearing about this, and manufacturing sites are adding significant demand on the grid. Just this week, AEP Ohio said they have agreements for new demand from existing and additional customers to add 4,400 megawatts of power to central Ohio by 2030. The EPA's final power sector rule will lead to the premature retirement of reliable generators and prevent new gas resources from coming online as demand is growing rapidly. This is a disaster, recipe for disaster. Two weeks ago, the Secretary of Energy repeatedly told the committee that EPA's new power sector rules for greenhouse gases no longer included standards for existing natural gas plants. She failed to mention that those standards are coming. In the new power sector rules, EPA states it intends to issue a new, more comprehensive proposal regulating greenhouse gases from these existing sources. EPA says that the proposal will focus on achieving greater emissions reductions from the sources. Will this future rule on existing natural gas fire plants be more strict than the Section 111 rule that EPA finalized last month? What, what the rule, the reason we have given more time is because industry, uh, the environmental community, justice community has asked us to. And so it will be more comprehensive, meaning the proposed rule only had the largest included. We're looking at a more comprehensive approach, but we're also looking at additional flexibilities and additional technologies that the industry asked for us to consider. So we're starting a more elongated process to be sure that we have a more comprehensive look and that comprehensiveness goes towards uh, coverage as well as technologies, best management practices, and the like. Okay, thank you. So the EPA has only received a few comments so far, and uh, given the impact of the rule covering existing gas plants uh, we have, will the EPA extend the deadline for comments? Uh, I will uh, circle with my staff about where we are with the process and the comments that are coming in and what we need to do to accommodate a full engagement from all of our stakeholders because we need that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Administrator. I, I do appreciate you being here today, but I strongly disagree with your views on the EPA's latest rules covering fossil fuel fired plants. I believe it is important that this committee, as well as the House and Senate, continue to push back on the EPA's rules that will threaten reliability and lead to ruling blackouts, brownouts for our constituents. To that end, I will be introducing a CRA, CRA resolution with Senator Capito 
uh, to disapprove of the Clean Power Plan 2.0. I urge my colleagues to support this effort and make it clear that we will not sit on the sidelines as the EPA wages war on the reliable baseload power that our constituents rely on. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.